Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi, everybody. It's Doreen. Please excuse my dirty mat here. But I'm back today with a birthday card that I've made for my best girlfriend that I call my sister girl. So today's cartridges we will be using is the Bridal Shower cartridge and the Everyday Paper Dolls cartridge. And the card that we will be making looks like this. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay, everybody, so we're going to go ahead and bring up our supplies so we can get started with our card. So now, my card measures 7 inches by 10 inches, and I've taken it and scored it in half to make it a 7 inch by 5 inch card. Or, let me make sure that's 5 inches. Yep, that's 5 inches. I don't know why I was thinking it was 5 and a half. So now... My next layer that I'm going to lay on top, and this paper is some of the Coordinations cardstock, the next size that I'm going to be laying down is 6 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters. And that's going to be my layer that we lay down here. So now I'm not going to be adding any ribbon, so let's get out, excuse me for that reach the ATG gun and we're going to get some tape on our layer and this is just some plain recollections black card stock and we'll get tape going across and then like so so what I'm going to do is move my ATG gun for a minute and I'm going to open up my card and then I'm going to lay my layer down. Like so. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press down. So now what I want to do is I want to add my next layer. And this piece of cardstock measures four and a half. Four and a half by six and a half. And that's going to lay on top of here like so. So let's get some tape on here and we'll add this layer as well and we're not adding any ribbon and this piece of cardstock is the same thing it's some of the coordinations paper and what I did was I bought a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock so that I could get all my different layers out of that one 12 by 12 sheet so now we'll add that layer to our card and we'll press down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start laying down my top layer and um, embellishments before we do any taping. So what I've done is I've taken my Moroccan Lace Punch by EK Success and I've punched out this little top border here. And then I've also stamped out Happy Birthday. And this Happy Birthday is from the Close to My Heart stamp set. And it looks like this. And I've used this stamp set before. I really like this one. The writing that's on here. It looks like this. Right there. So I've just taken that. And what I've done is... I've stamped this out using some clear embossing ink. And then once I had it stamped out, I took my dual green. Now this isn't um, micro pearls or a micro, micro powder. I forgot what this is called and I don't have the box that this came in. But I got several of these, I would say about five, six, maybe longer years ago. And they look like this. Now with these, you have to have some type of a fixative to make them stick 
to whatever you're putting them on. I believe the other ones you don't have to have that. So I just use my clear embossing ink. And as I said, this color is duo green yellow. And once I had embossed the happy birthday, I just took my brush and dipped it in the powder. And then I just ran it across the happy birthday. And this is what it ended up coming out like. So that's going to be up here at the top. Like so. And then I have another piece of cardstock. And let's see what this measures. Okay, this piece measures three and a half by two and a half. And I'm going to have that piece, we're going to do it this way, right here. And then I have another piece that measures the same. Now, this paper is from these. Paper pack by Paper Studios. It's called the Safari Untamed Pack. And this is some glossy cardstock. And I've used this once before. Love that purple. So anyway, that is what this piece is. And then I've just taken some of my scraps of the black and cut the same size. And I'm going to put that. And then also I've taken it and run it through my Cuddlebug folder. Now this Cuddlebug folder is called Frame Botanical and it basically looks like this. And what I've done is just taken it and put it in there. Now I didn't get the whole framework, I just got part of it which is what I wanted because I wanted to use up my scraps, as much as my scraps as possible. So that piece it's just going to lay down on top like this. And then what we'll do is, well, next we're going to add our shoe, which looks like this. And now I'll talk about where I got the shoe from after I get everything just laid out the way I want it. And then we have our purse, which we're going to put over here. And then we'll put our Diva sticker down here at the bottom. So that's basically what our car is going to look like. So now let's go ahead and add everything and glue it and tape it down. So we'll start with taping down the happy birthday. So I'm going to get my Tombow out for that and as you can see I stamped on the back. I didn't like the way that came out. So I figured don't waste the paper just because it didn't come out on, right on that one side, just flip it over and do it on the other side. So I'm going to bring this a little bit closer to me so I can get this lined up where I want it. And we're going to have it line up right there and I'm just going to press across like so. So now let's add our next layer, which will be this layer. And we're placing this right here. So once again, we'll just use our Tombow and get some tape all the way down. And actually, this is really going to be a very simple card. There's not a lot of cutting involved with the Cricut. I just used two things from the Cricut this time. So I'm going to place that like so. And then I'm going to add my next layer. And I think we're going to do it this way down on top of here and I think I want to have that under there. Let's see what that looks like first. I know we'll be covering up some of that embossing but I think that still be okay. So let's get some tape on here like so and look at our edges and then I'm going to slide this under here because I think I want to have that underneath make sure I line this up and then I'm going to press down now because I have that embossing up there at the top I'm going to just take my glue gun and slide it in there 
and get a thin layer of glue going all the way across there so I can make sure that it adheres down. And it looks like I need to add another glue stick in my glue gun. So let me do that and then we'll move on. See if we can get the glue to start coming out. Okay. So now I'm just going to press down. And there we go. So now let's continue adding our embellishments. So now the shoe is from, let's see, the Bridal Shower cartridge and it is on page 11 and it looks like this and now so what key is that on your Cricut I'm sorry on your gypsy so let's bring that up on our gypsy we're gonna go to the bridal shower cartridge and that is key number 34 which looks like this. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut the shoe at three and a half inches. And then once I had it cut out, which I cut out in black cardstock, I then took my spray adhesive and sprayed the shoe. And then I took the Martha Stewart glitter, and this is the Felspar color, and I colored my shoe with the glitter. Nice and shiny. Turquoise and green is my girlfriend's favorite color. So that's why I decided to make it this color. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to remove the tape backing that I've put on the... Because I've popped this up with some foam tape. So I'm going to remove the backing from here. And... Then I'm just going to add my shoe right there. And we may have to put something on the back of the heel as well. So let's see if we can pop this back up. And I'm going to add a piece of tape on the back of the shoe. And I apologize. I previously said that I used my spray adhesive to um, put the glitter on. I actually used this new glue that I bought that's called dimensional glue and it's supposed to adhere glitter but I think I put it on too thick and I also noticed that it doesn't retain the glitter as well as the spray adhesive does the thing about the spray adhesive is that you have to use it in a well ventilated area because I find myself sometimes using it and it smells really bad and then I end up getting a headache afterwards. So that would be my only advice to you is that if you're going to use it, spray it outside somewhere first or somewhere where you you're, have a well ventilated area and let it dry for a bit, maybe even overnight. And then you won't smell that smell or that strong odor. And I have done that on previous um, cards where I've sprayed it outside so I don't have that smell and I do notice that the smell goes away after 24 hours it's just that you shouldn't do it while you're crafting because you will have that strong odor so now I've got another piece on there for the heel and now it should stay popped up so there we go. So, as I said, I'm going to have glitter everywhere. I don't know if I like that adhesive because it does get glitter everywhere. So, okay. So now let's finish adding the rest of our embellishments. So now the next thing we want to add is I've cut out two of these little purses. And this is from the Everyday Paper Dolls cartridge. And we'll go to that purse, and it is on page 50, and it looks like this. So what I've done is 
this does not have a blackout feature for the purse so I've cut two of those at different sizes and I also removed the little straps that they have on the purse or lines right here I didn't want those because I decided to go ahead and emboss my purse instead and I embossed it using my Victorian folder Cuddlebug folder. It looks like that. So I used some more of my scraps left over from my black cardstock and from the cardstock of the card. And then I took my Tim Holtz sander and sand down that what I had embossed. So now the sizes that I cut the purse are we're gonna go to that cartridge. And I'll show you what that looks like. So the purse looks like this. And what I did was I hid those little strap marks. And it was cut at three and a half inches as well. For the t top layer, or the bottom, the, this layer here. And then I cut another one at three and a quarter. So I'm just going to put that on top of each other. So we'll just take our two-way zig pen and get some glue on here and actually I want to put the glue on this side and we'll add that to the purse. I'm going to move this out the way for just a minute while we add this glue onto the purse and then we'll line this up Like so. And I'm going to press down and add that. Now, the next thing I want to do is, I do want this to pop up as well. Because you know how I like dimensions. So, we're going to put some dimensionals on the back. And we'll pop this up as well. So, I'll remove my tape backing. Let's see how fast I can get this off. Okay, so now we've got that off, and I'm just going to sit the purse right along here. Okay, so now let's move on, and we're going to add our last little thing on the front, which is, of course, some bling. And this actually spells out the word diva. So well now, of course, you know, to me, that's just not enough bling. We've got our sparkle. We've got just a little bling, but we need more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish adding the rest of my bling, and then I'm going to come back, and we'll have the finished card. Okay, everybody, so I am back with my finished card, and I hope the camera is going to pick up what I've done. So... On the front, I had my Diva, and then what I did was I took one of the Cherry Lynn Butterfly dies and I put that on the front. And I'm just going to bring this up a little bit so you can see it. So that's what I did on the front. And then for my inside, I just went ahead and put my inside sentiment in. And I took my Martha Stewart bangle chain punch, which looks like this. And use the last of the black cardstock that I had out of the eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, and I did a trim down at the bottom and a trim at the top, and then I took my spellbinder's die, and after I printed out my sentiment on my computer, I ran it through the spellbinder die. It looks like this, and offhand I don't remember the name of this, but I'll put it somewhere in the video up here or down in the description bar what the name of that label is and then I took one of the shoes that I had left over and put that right here ran it through the Victorian cutterbug folder and then added some bling down here at the bottom and oh and if I didn't say I had to add more bling like I said so I added a row of bling along here using the IROC tool gems. Now, I didn't use my IROC tool because my IROC tool has died on me. And I was about to go out and buy me a new one, 
But then I remembered I had this Bejewel tool. It's not cordless, so you have to plug it in. And actually, this one gets hotter than the iRock tool. I've already burnt myself once with this. So, adding all that bling, my iRock has died on me. Thanks for watching, everybody. And happy birthday, sister girl. Bye.